Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing great. This is your coach Tahib Tariq here from the platform of university.org and vjob.org. And first of all, I wish you all the very happy Teachers Day. And uh, if anyone of you is uh, serving as a coach, as an educator, uh, it doesn't matter that whether you are uh, providing your services digitally online or uh, you are providing your services as a teacher or educator but uh, physically it always uh, really uh, very uh, blessed uh, blessed to uh, to appreciate all the teachers and uh, teachers are is a kind of profession that is the most valuable profession that is the most respectable profession and uh, i do always respect all my teachers and uh, i also wish them uh, uh, happy teachers day because uh, uh, this is the only day that we can appreciate the teachers when we can appreciate the all the servings of teachers all the uh, blessings of teachers that they are providing us with so wish you all the uh, wish you all a very happy teachers day if any one of you is uh, providing uh, his her services as a tutor or teacher so uh, without wasting more time because uh, we started this lecture with a bit of delay today and uh, without wasting more time I am just going to start my uh, regular lecture and this is this lecture is going to be all about a practical demonstration of uh, writing assistance tools uh, like uh, we discussed in the uh, in the last session that were uh, based on Grammarly, Ginger and Vertune and in today's video we will have a kind of uh, a different a differentiative session in between uh, Grammarly, Ginger and Vertune and we will discuss all the differentiative features that are available in uh, uh, Grammarly, either in Ginger and also in the word tune. But uh, first of all, the major difference, let me tell you about uh, Ginger and Grammarly is that you can do rephrasing uh, on uh, Ginger, uh, Ginger Writer as well, but you cannot do uh, uh, rephrasing and you cannot use Grammarly uh, for the rephrasing purposes on uh, like uh, we are going to do next and uh, then you will get to know about what type type of rephrasing I am currently talking about. And also I will discuss rephrasing in detail when we are going to discuss uh, it uh, in the live session, okay? But uh, currently I'm just uh, saying that uh, uh, whenever we have uh, uh, a lot of text and we have to rephrase that text, we are not going to um, uh, rephrase it line by line or paragraph by paragraph on Grammarly, but we can do it on Ginger Writer. So this is the major difference in between the uh, two of them. But whenever uh, we are using Grammarly and its extension is installed in our browsers, it, its uh, application is installed in our PCs. And uh, also uh, if, uh, we are using Grammarly uh, like uh, uh, its extensions are installed and its uh, applications are currently working in our laptops. It is going to rephrase your content by on its own if you are making any kind of repetition in your content, if you are making, making any kind of punctuation errors and any kind of grammatical errors, etc. So it completely depends on you and uh, that uh, if you are... Uh, it, it completely depends on your projects as well. In, it completely depends on the type of work you are currently doing as a content writer, okay? So for example, if you just want to write a random kind of content and you are not supposed to provide it to somewhere and to someone as well, but you are just writing it for your own practice. So you must have installed Grammarly. This is the, this is my, uh, this is my like kind of, uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, uh, I, this is kind of more appreciating uh, software. So you you all must have this software in your laptops installed and uh, you must use it on daily basis. Because you, you do not have to use it on its own because it is a kind of AI power assistance and it is going to provide uh, you assistance uh, on its own and you do not have to put your efforts on it. Okay, so this is kind of more feasible, more comfortable uh, kind of software. So you must all, uh, all of you must have installed Grammarly in your laptops, in your mobile phones as well, so that you may know whenever you are typing something on, uh, even on WhatsApp, um, uh, we, uh, when we talk, when, when we need to talk in English uh, in certain groups, then uh, instead of writing uh, uh, content in kind of uh, what we say, say in the common language, we call it as the Gulabi English. So please, uh, 
uh, uh, to improvise the globby english type of content you you must have uh, grammarly installed in your laptops in your mobile phones and in both of them etc so um, it is going to help you a lot into uh, to improvise your content to make uh, like uh, uh, herculean changes in your content so uh, this is my first and foremost advice to you people to please install these uh, softwares uh, right now and but uh, i'm not in uh, i'm not implementing it that like uh, you do not have to install ginger right now you do not have to install vertune right now but you must know about them but grammarly is something that you all must have in your laptops in your pieces and if you if i'm um, um, repeating my words again and again so please uh, take it in, into account and also uh, uh, install these uh, this uh, uh, software in your uh, computers and pcs right now even during this session you can install it uh, simultaneously where, where uh, and i am going to teach you that how to install it how to use it you do not have to put a lot of efforts on grammarly but grammarly is going to improvise your content a lot okay so i am not in favor of uh, uh, telling you people that uh, in install ginger right now it is good going to help you a lot because i am not in favor of the softwares in the beginning of content writing because uh, that those software that are particularly paid after some days or uh, their features are paid after some days so in when uh, when you are in start of your career as a content writer i would not suggest you all uh, to go ahead with uh, uh, with kind of paid softwares because uh, as much as you are not um you are not running uh, or earning anything uh, from content writing field then you must not spend your money on it as well because uh, time is money and money uh, is also valuable so you must not uh, invest your time and money on these softwares that are paid um, whenever you are starting content writing as in as a beginner but when you proceed further uh, with the passage of time in content writing and when you are becoming like a professional in content writing you can go ahead and you can use any kind of paid softwares you you must have to make yourself flexible that what what kind of new softwares are coming on daily basis so you must know about them you must be curious about them and you must install about them but when when you are becoming a professional in content writing but if you are not professional in content writing you are just making your start in content writing i would not go uh, with any of the paid softwares and i would not let all of you go for the um, uh, for the paid software so i am not in favor of uh, ginger to install it right now but i am in favor of grammarly right now I, it is not kind of um, uh, it is not kind of paid promotion uh, it seems like that that i am doing the paid promotion of grammarly but it is not it is not a kind of paid promotion i'm just um, telling you all and advising you all to have a kind of that software that is more feasible to use that is more comfortable to use that is more uh, kind of economical to use as well so uh, do not go with ginger and vertune but learn about them as well but uh, i'm not uh, assuring you all to please install those and also use them but you can use grammarly and uh, the basic features of grammarly for free and uh, you can go ahead this is um, the most feasible one okay so let me share my screen first then we will go ahead and we will learn that how to install grammarly i, I don't know it, it is not a kind of rocket science but um, i know uh, some of you are facing a lot of issues regarding that so i am currently over here on the grammarly website and you can click just uh, you just have to Uh, type on google that grammarly application for desktop it will land you up on the major uh, main website of grammarly and uh, over here you can see uh, you can have uh, an overview of uh, why you you must choose grammarly what are the features available in grammarly and uh, what kind of features you are going to use so grammarly uh, as you can see uh, it is a kind of ai uh, power assistant tool and it is it is it can write content rewrite the content it can get ideas for your content quickly and reply with ai assistant so whenever you are uh, typing something and you are typing wrong uh, with kind of uh, grammatical mistakes and with kind of uh, typo errors as well it is going to immediately highlight those uh, uh, those uh, errors and then it will suggest you uh, that how you can fix those errors this is how it is going to improvise your content okay so uh, uh, let me uh, uh, provide you another demo of it uh for example for example uh let me uh, have a google document over here then we will have a practical demonstration of it that how it is going to improvise my content okay so let us have a google document first uh so that i may explain you that uh, like how it is 
is going to work on your uh, browsers, on your desktops, etc. So uh, currently, my uh, Grammarly application is also installed in my computer. So, so I am not uh, going to reinstall it, but I will you all that how, how to install uh, this particular um, uh, software. Okay. So over here uh, on the Google document, as you can see, uh, let me type something wrong. Okay, I'm not going to uh, type something uh, which is already correct. As you can see, uh, this one, as you can see on my screen, this uh, this extension is of Bertune. This extension is of Quillbot, and this extension is of uh, uh, Quillbot. And also, I'm uh, currently I'm going uh, at over here. As you can see, this extension is of Grammarly. This extension is of Ginger. Okay, so these all are the extensions that are currently installed on my browser and I'm using all these softwares because uh, uh, I'm also having the paid version of some of them because they are in my regular use and uh, I'm now becoming a professional of content writing. So I have to use these softwares on daily basis. And also if any of the new software is going to come in future, um, uh, then I'm also going to uh, use that particular software as well. Either it is paid, either it is free, but if it is of uh, uh, it is uh, useful for me, then I'm going to use that. Okay, so let me type something wrong over here. Like, uh, I name is Kareem Tariq. Okay, so uh, uh, if we uh, think about it categorically, it must be my name is Tariq Tariq. So this is how it is going to, okay, over here, as you can see, this is how it is going to highlight the content. Uh, let me um, zoom this. Okay, uh, now here you can see uh, it has uh, highlighted the, this I because this I is grammatically wrong over here. I know it must be like my name is Serin Tariq, but over here uh, I typed uh, like I. So now it is highlighted as red and over here it is uh, providing me an, uh, uh, an error. So I'm going to click on this error and this is how it is it going to suggest me like uh, uh, over here as you can see. Uh, sorry. Over here, you can see uh, uh, on my uh, top right side, you can see that I have to replace I with my. And uh, the, now the new suggestion that Grammarly, Quillbot, Wordtune, and Ginger as well, all, all are the, the grammatical softwares. And uh, they are going to fix the grammatical error. So they are suggesting me the same thing that you must uh, replace I with my so that your content become like uh, you, your content get improvised. Okay, so I'm if I'm going to click on it, it will automatically change uh, I to my. So, so this is how it is going to improvise your content. So currently, I um, I accepted the suggestion of Quillbot. So, um, uh, but same is the case with over here, as you can see uh in the in the bottom corner ginger is also suggesting me that uh, there is one suggestion for you in your content uh and if i'm going to click it on uh, click on it it will uh, immediately uh, fix that as well and also it is suggesting me uh, uh it is highlighting tarik as well so uh, when we click on it we will have an idea but this is not going to be a major mistake because uh, uh, it is highlighted as yellow in color so that means uh, this word is not added up in the dictionary of grammarly so that is why it is highlighting it as the spell mistake etc but that was the major mistake so it it uh, highlighted that particular uh, word as uh, uh, red in color so i had to make uh, immediately i had to make change in that particular color uh, or sorry uh, in that particular alphabet immediately so uh, this is not going to be a major mistake because it is highlighted as orange or yellow in color that is because grammarly is suggesting some kind of new word for me but i know that my father's name is tarik and uh, uh, his name his uh, spells are correct over here so i'm not going to change them because this is uh, this highlighting it because uh, there um, might be some other word in the in the dictionary of grammar because it is a kind of ai assistance tool so i do always suggest that you uh, it, uh, it is not going to replace the human brain. So uh, you must be very well aware of your content, that what kind type of content you are writing and what is the actual con uh, reference to context meaning of that particular content. You, you must understand that if Grammarly is suggesting you something, you do not have to change it right now. But you have to uh, review that particular error that Grammarly is highlighting so that you may have an idea that whether the suggestion is right or wrong. OK, so it completely depends on you that how you are going to change, but uh, it, it is uh, going to help you a lot in improvising your content. OK, so over here, as you can see uh, on the main site of Grammarly, 
it, it, it is it presenting all the features that are available on Grammarly. And for uh, if uh, you want to join Grammarly for work, uh, you can uh, join as individual team and business. And uh, you can also uh, have um, uh, learned to the success stories of Grammarly. Then uh, for education purposes, it will also provide you some features. Then uh, you can compare the plans of Grammarly as well. And for example, as you can see over here, ensure your writing uh, is mistake free. So you can uh, use it uh, without any cost and you are not supposed to uh, pay for Grammarly initially and you can utilize all the basic features of Grammarly for free of cost. And, uh, but if you want to uh, have some kind of premium features of Grammarly, if you need those features for some kind of your project, some kind of your content, then you can go ahead and you can purchase the premium or business version of grammar okay so um i'm currently logged out with my uh, business ver version of grammarly because uh, i had to tell you about from scratch that uh, whether it is free of cost or uh, the premium premium one or uh, and also i had to tell you about uh, what is the major difference between the free version of grammarly and the premium version of grammarly as you can see over here here is a comparison in between all the packages that grammarly is currently providing for example if you are uh, um, if you are there in uh, in the free version of grammarly then you you uh, you will have grammar grammar spell uh, spell check and uh, punctuation correctness yes uh, we do have and in the premium version you will have the consistency in spelling and punctuation and in english uh, fluency as well and these uh, all these features are available in business and premium version but not in the free version of grammarly as you can see all the basic features are available in the free version of grammarly you can uh, go ahead and review all these packages uh, uh, for your own uh, uh, I'm not going in detail of these packages, okay? But you have an idea about the comparative analysis of free, premium, and uh, business version of Grammarly. But as I do always say that premium free version is uh, available, so utilize free versions, and uh, all the basic features that are required as a beginning content writer are available in the free version of Grammarly. So this is the most suitable one. Uh, go ahead and install it. Now a question arises, how to install it, okay? So uh, uh, to in, uh, install it, you just have to click on. Okay. You just have to click on download. It's uh, um, gra download Grammarly and it's free. Uh, as you can see, you can click on uh, over here as well and also download Grammarly. It is free. Uh, from here, you just have to install. Uh, you just have to download the setup of Grammarly. Then from the setup of Grammarly, when uh, when it is installed in your uh, laptop, you, you have to uh, download it in your laptop. You have to install that particular um, application. Okay. So when you, uh, the application is installed in your computer, then uh, what you are going to do next is you, you just have to click on the um, Grammarly application. And this uh, will provide you this, uh, for the uh, sign-up details. This will demand uh, the sign-up details. And over here, this application of Grammarly looks like this but if you have extension installed in your browsers in your uh, in your uh, laptops as, as well then it is going to work on its own you do not have to uh, put your efforts on utilizing Grammarly features over here as you can see uh, if you want to have Grammarly apps Grammarly apps are available for Windows for Chrome its extensions are available as well its extensions and applications are available for iPhone and iPad as well and Grammarly for Android. So uh, these two are currently working because I'm uh, absolutely working always on my laptop. Even if I'm using WhatsApp or Facebook, etc., I am always with my laptop. I'm not going to scroll up and down with the uh, with the help of my mobile. So I have not installed its application currently in my mobile. So that is why it is demanding that you must install its application for Android as well. But uh, over here, as you can see, these two are currently working. The extensions are added over here in the Google Chrome. So I'm more comfortable with that. And these two are currently working. So this is how uh, uh, Grammarly works and the, uh, how you, you this is how you are going to install Grammarly and utilize all the features of Grammarly, all the basic features of Grammarly. You, I would not suggest you to go with the premium version. But whenever you start uh, your earning, as a content writer, you are more than welcome to go ahead with uh, with the premium version of uh, uh, these softwares. Okay. Now, question arises about Ginger. Okay. Now, what is Ginger? Ginger is another uh, kind of uh, AI power assistant tool, and uh, this is going to provide you assistance in writing as well. And uh, uh, the major difference between Ginger and Grammarly is that on Ginger uh, software, you can 
uh, use uh, you can do uh, a grammar checker as well as you can do sentence rephrasing also you can do online proofreading so these all are the features available in ginger that are not currently available in uh, grammarly but grammarly is going to help you a lot while typing and writing your content okay so uh, for example if you are getting a project of proofreading and uh, if you want to um, go ahead and do rephrasing by the help of ginger so you have to install ginger in the same way i guided you all about grammarly you just have to download the setup of ginger then you have to install the setup of ginger in your laptops okay i would not suggest you to please uh, uh, download and install it right now because uh, if you want to use its 14 days free trial then you are more than welcome you can go ahead and use 14 days free trial of ginger but after that please do not go ahead and pay for it because uh, uh, this is going to be in use when you are going getting project of rephrasing proofreading etc okay so i'm not in favor of that okay uh, now uh, from here you can install um, ginger application and uh, um, i'm not going in detail of it because we are lacking behind time and then uh, when you click on the ginger application shortcut that is available on your laptop this is how the interface of ginger will look like over here you have to type a sentence like uh, for example what you have to do is you just have to copy the content you have to paste your content over here Okay, as you can see, uh, when I pasted my content, uh, it is showing up rephrase. When I'm going to click on rephrase, uh, it will demand. It is demanding the premium version as well because uh, currently uh, the account which is logged in over here on Ginger uh, that is uh, um, already done with the 14 days free trial. But I'm going to uh, log in it with another of uh, my Gmail account because uh, if if uh, any of the time I want to use its features. But uh, now I just want to uh, show you how it. Uh, it, it is going to process in your computers and laptops as you can see over here when you are going to type something a sentence it is going to rephrase uh, a sentence not a paragraph because uh, uh, it, it it has a certain limitation and uh, as you can see over here you cannot do rephrasing more than of 50 words uh, 450 words uh, in the in the free trial as well but in the premium version you can uh, you can uh, go ahead with any of the um, amount of uh, your word count and uh, you can go ahead for the rephrasing as well okay so for that reason uh, it, uh, you just have to click on rephrase and it is going to provide you uh, about six of the options and from the options you have to pick up like what is uh, the exact rephrased uh, sentence that have the same meaning that you uh, provided to the ginger okay so this is how Ginger and uh, Grammarly works. And in the same way, Wordtune is going to work, OK? You can go ahead, and I'm assigning this task to you that you have to explore Wordtune by yourself. I'm just letting you know about the right direction. You, you are going to utilize all these softwares in the right direction as well. When uh, And also, please utilize softwares whenever they are required. But do not make yourself uh, like uh, like a spoon feeder that um, that is dependent on the AI assistant tools and uh, uh, who uh, th who is not going to write something by utilizing uh, utilizing his her own capabilities and uh, uh, and his her own talent of creativity. Okay, so that is all for today. I hope you understood uh, all about Grammarly, Ginger, and all these uh, word assistance tools. So they they are going to assist you a lot whenever you are going to start your work as a content writer in the future and also if you are practicing your content right now you uh, i would suggest all of you to please install and uh, use grammarly as well it is going to improvise your content a lot and it will going to help you a lot in writing up your good and exact content okay so now i am ending up this uh, uh, screen over here and uh, now i will uh, add all of you on stage then if you have any question you are more than welcome to ask okay Okay, team, now you can add up your questions one by one. Uh, I will answer your questions, then I will end up the stream over there. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum, Sam. 
मैम मैंने अभी ग्रामरली डाउनलोड किया आपके साथ ही मैं इसको कर रही थी डाउनलोड तो वो डाउनलोड तो हो गया है लेकिन मैम वो ऊपर उसकी एक्सटेंशन डाउनलोड में वो आ गया लेकिन ऊपर उसकी एक्सटेंशन जैसे आपके पास एक्सटेंशन शो हो रही है ना वो उस तरह से एक्सटेंशन नहीं शो हो रही उसकी मतलब उसका गूगल क्रोम यस मैम आई एम द गूगल क्रोम ओके गो अहेड एंड सर्च ऑन गूगल एक्सटेंशन ऑफ ग्रामरली फॉर गूगल क्रोम then it is going to add the extension on google chrome installing application of grammarly is something else on your pc and adding okay. extension of grammarly on your google chrome is something else okay yes okay ma'am if you still face any issue you are more than welcome to inbox me yeah. thank you ma'am okay. is there anyone else who has any question so that uh, we might end up this stream over there okay so team uh, good luck for your uh, upcoming sessions and also uh, for adding your submissions i will be waiting for your submissions for today and uh, see you in the next session till then stay safe stay great good luck